Hello traders, FS Bekulati here. Today is Wednesday, May 14th, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar Canadian, starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full tile down analysis. So on the dollar CAD, I still personally think this is going to go down and either make a wave C, which would potentially go down to some place around the 1.14 area, or maybe a wave 3. I think it's more likely to make a wave C based on the pattern, especially looking at the US dollar, but you never really know. Either scenario, I don't think it's important to know at this point because either way it leads to a big move down. Heading down to the weekly time frame, I do truly believe this is over. I think this is a wave one, I think this is a wave two, and I think this is very likely already in the very early stages of this wave three, probably a wave three of wave C based on the monthly time frame. So heading down to the daily time frame, I think this is five waves down right here, wave one. I think this is a big ABC correction, wave two. I suspect that this could just keep on going down, that we do have CPI interest inflation data coming out today. So that's going to be a pretty big deal for all the dollar pairs. And it does kind of look like the dollar could make a move up today, which even if it does make a move up, I don't really think that changes anything for me. I would just say it probably is still a one and that this is just an irregular ABC correction for the two. And it's probably going to go down later on for a wave three. So even if the dollar does go up, even if the dollar CAD does go up, I still think it's going to eventually keep on going down. Going down to the 4 hour time frame. On the 4 hour time frame, to me this definitely looks like a trend. I'm actually kind of wondering if this right here is an A, and this is actually an A, B, C of B, and that today's news will cause it to go up, but it's probably just going to go back up, retest these highs, and then later on, maybe next week or something, continue down. Like this would be like a 1, and this would be in a big A, B, C of 2, and this would eventually go down for a wave 3. So taking it down to the 1 hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, I mean, we definitely got a pretty nice looking trend right here. We even had another end of a trend yesterday right here, end of a cretin that is. Most of the dollar pairs are telling us that down is the more likely scenario. Uh, that up is more likely on the US dollar, down on these dollar pairs. So that means that the dollar CAD would likely make a push up. I think if anything, this push up is just going to be a wave C of a expanding flat on the four hour time frame like I was just explaining. So I do think that it is most likely today's news will cause it to go up. I think today's news is actually going to cause it to go up and probably make a wave C of a crutch into the downtrend. But still... We have to keep in mind that the very high time frames, the trend is definitely still down and there's always a chance that it just keeps on going down. But looking at the dollar index, looking at correlated dollar pairs definitely makes me think that this could go up, finish a wave C before it actually does go down and continue the downtrend. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked down here in the corner. And don't forget to check out my membership program that gives you access to all my daily live trading sessions. And it also gives you access to all my swing trade setups that I share with the group at the time of entry by signing up at my website, fxpipcollector.com. As always, thank you and happy trading.